welcome back to my channel my name is jessica belamo i'm a youtuber based in abuja nigeria and today we're going to be chit chatting about boarding school experiences i'm going to be giving you a summary of my experience in boarding school and i would love us to chat about this in the comment section and let me know what you think about it okay boarding school is good yeah it's good i know all of us have our reasons every parent have their reasons for sending their child or their words to a boarding school so um I mean, I grew up in, the fa in a family where my dad, my parents were like, all their kids was go to a boarding school. Yes, that was the rule. So it was not something that you would think twice about. No, it was already a normal thing that should happen. So um, I picked my school and I was happy. We were in Lagos then and... I was happy to go to boarding school in Abuja. My expectations of going to boarding school in Abuja was over 100. I mean, it was over, way over 100. New students, that's just one student, had their own hostels. So they were kept there with um, SS2 students to take care of them. Yeah. And then the main hostel had just two down to SS3. So I got into school and... Fortunately for me, I had a school mother who, take, who took care of me. But unfortunately for me, it was not something that will help me in the long run. Because I mean, my school mother was in SS2. And she was going to graduate in SS3, right? And then when she graduated, she had just one year to graduate. And then when she graduates one year, I will move to just 2 And then I'll move to the main hostel. So guys, do you understand what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so since i had a school mother i mean it was quite rosy even though it had it had its own disadvantages because people will stare at you and they're like so you are the you are the school daughter to so 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 person this 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 when a person um graduates from this school then you will understand you know you know all of those things i do I, I like all of those things i used to be like maybe they're just talking well, when it came when it became plenty i'm like when the noise became so much i'm like ah, Omo, what's going on the rate of stealing i barely came back with my box trust me that box was empty forget about provisions now even if provisions were eaten or stolen just forget about provisions personal stuffs down to your pants you wash your clothes, you spread it, and then you are thinking, okay, when it's dried, you go and pack it. You will go there and meet an empty line. Like, I still do not understand it. Fast hole. forward to me now in just two. I went to the main hostel. Yes, another thing to note. This trend of, because this was done to me, so when I become a senior, I will also do that to the younger ones. That trend doesn't make sense. Like, boarding school, for me, let me not generalize it, but the environment where I went to school, that was a trend. Like, because, okay, because I come into school in just one, and I'm being maltreated from just one to maybe SS2, when I get just and when I get to SS3, I'll also do the same to the younger ones. That was the trend. So every slight opportunity a senior gets, she wants to take out all the frustration, everything she went through on the younger one. Just imagine I went to school at age nine. I didn't know what bullying was about. I didn't know what... I didn't even know what going to school was yet. I was just happy. I mean, I'm going to boarding school. I'm going to school to go and for, yeah, 
further my education right i'm going to secondary school in abuja you know that was the hype and then i get to school and i'm not understanding what's going on the norm was as a junior you are not supposed to be caught idle like you cannot stay even if you are sleeping a senior can come and wake you up to send you that was a norm and there was nothing wrong with it because obviously the seniors as well when they were in just one their seniors did it to them so they also want to do it to you i mean to what end must the cycle continue who's going to break that cycle i mean it really if you check it really doesn't make sense it now makes people that don't have that mindset of people that don't even understand what bullying is it now creates that um uh failure for good english i don't even know the english to use but it now creates that let's just use the word demon it now creates that demon in them just imagine someone going through that in just two in just three in ss1 in ss2 yes in ss2 because ss3 is were above the ss2s and the ss3s could still punish the ss2s in my own school oh yes i don't know the school you attended remember me and my friend that year what we used to do was in our school bags we pack our clothes basically change of clothes and food to eat and water so after school hours we would delay in our class we would sit down there waiting when everywhere is now quiet and everybody has left the premises we we'll now change to our day wear in class and then try to sleep because everybody's going back to do stuff for siesta so sleep try to sleep but even when we are sleeping our eyes open because if any teacher should come around or any staff come around and find us as punishment for us so we used to do it in a way that <clears throat> we used to do it in a way that nobody will find us so we'll do that we we'll change we we'll try and sleep and then when we hear the siren will not come out as if when people start coming out from the hostel will not join the queue as if we also came out from the hostel and then will not enter our class again for <laughs> or for the afternoon prep then after afternoon prep when people are going back to the hostel we we'll remain in the class when we hear the siren for dinner with we'll the same thing we'll come out join them go for dinner and then after dinner back to class for um for night prep and then after night prep we'll now pack all our things and then go to the hostel at that point we're like if they don't want us to sleep in the hostel this night no Allah. at least the work would have done from afternoon prep from afternoon siesta at least we've we've cut out all those ones out so after night prep if they want to send us the day break no Allah. <laughs> we'll go and face that one in the hostel once and for all any any we must sleep small before the next day right yeah so that's how we did we did that for some for a while before we stopped because i think they caught us or something i can't even remember it was really really stressful sometimes i come back to the hostel my locker is jacked all my provisions gone everything and i ah, know the environment that was not what i was expecting so many things so many horrible gist you know and all of that but people will say what does not kill you will make you stronger be what doesn't kill you makes you stronger see eh, that song was not for me in that situation not in that situation because i got fed though like it was crazy i cannot start giving you guys all the nitty-gritty of everything that went down that year because it's still a whole lot of stories like it's a whole lot it was a situation of what you ordered versus what you got this was not what i ordered that i got in that when i got home just two third time i was just casually telling my parents that i cannot go back to that school i don't know how i pulled up that stunt up to the day that they listened to me 
I don't know how. But let's go to school now. I said, no, I'm not going no. And then I said, crying. I cried. See, premium. You see what they call premium tears? I cried. I cried. I said, see, if that is the only school. I can remember what I said. I said, if that is the only school in this world, I don't want to ever go to school again. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the sufferings were so much. As God will have it, because I don't know how it that happened with the kind of father and mother that I have. <laughs> you just come and cry for them and tell them you're not going to school and they pay school fees. <laughs> um, I don't know how that happened, but God intervened. Hmm. They listened to me. And then that was how I ended up not going back to school the next time and then my just three and you know then it was very very hard to admit a student in just three but luckily for me my elder sister was going to was attending a private school that was just very close to our family house then in lagos and they went to make inquiries if they would take a just three from from scratch from first time and they accepted and then i joined my elder sister in that school it was a private school so i moved from a government school to a private school so the essence of this video is not to look down on government schools no if i would have to make a choice for my child i would prefer me on my own i would prefer you go to school from home be a day student so that at least you can monitor you know that after close of school 2 2 p.m 3 p.m or whatever time they close your child is coming back to you you know if you're enjoying your boarding school if your word or child is enjoying her, his or her boarding school please with all pleasure continue but this is just what happened to me and i'm just sharing my own version of the story i don't know if it took out one or two things from this video please let me know in the comment section if you had this kind of experience growing up in secondary school just be vigilant do your due diligence be vigilant watch out that that's all i can say watch out watch out and if your child comes home with any complaint if your child trusts you enough to talk to you with any complaints please listen listen observe and then try to do your own um what's that english word investigations yes try to do your investigations and then sleep last, last. it's only god that can help somebody because like i said if it was by my tears i don't know i don't know i really don't know what i would have become in that school so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up leave a comment below share to your family and friends and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here I'll see you in my next video. Okay. Bye.